Soybean cyst nematode, or SCN, is a roundworm that parasitizes soybean roots and is one of the most damaging pests of soybeans in North America. The cysts themselves are quite a bit smaller than soybean nodules, which are circled in green here. Circled in blue, we have three cysts, and you can see that they're a lot smaller than the nodules to the right of them in the green circle. The cysts can be whitish or yellowish in color. They're lemon-shaped, and when you break them open, they're full of eggs, and that's what's amplifying the disease in the field. Since it's such a damaging pest, surveys for SEN have been conducted in Manitoba since 2012. It was first confirmed here in 2019 by Dr. Mario Tenuta's lab at the U of M and was found in four RMs in 2019. Since then, we've also added another RM, so we have five confirmed RMs. SCN moves with soil, so anything moving soil can contribute to the spread of SCN. With its recent establishment here in Manitoba, minimizing soil movement is still one tool we can use to limit its spread. It might not be feasible to clean equipment between fields, but every little bit helps. So knock off large soil clods from equipment and make sure that any new to you equipment comes on farm clean. Scout for SCN from late July through September until maturity. Gently dig up roots and examine them for small cysts. SCN is a silent yield robber since above ground symptoms don't develop until the cyst levels are quite high in the field. So once symptoms are visible above ground, up to 30% yield loss may already be occurring. So spots to investigate are any areas of poor soybean growth like headlands, low spots, or high pH areas. In the most recent field I did with SCN, symptoms above ground appeared like a patch of IDC that plants never really grew out of in the headlands. SCN is more easily identified during dry years on lighter soils since those above ground symptoms are more likely to appear even at lower cyst levels. If you suspect SCN, soil samples may be collected and sent to AgVise, or you can contact MPSG, Manitoba Agriculture, or Mario's lab at the U of M for confirmation.